Hi everyone, this is Ethir and um, I am going to explain now the bubble sort. Uh, and the bubble sort is not recommended in programming, but this is only for the educational uh, needs. So if you understand the algorithm of the bubble sort, you will understand everything. I explain the um, the algorithms like bubble sort, insertion sort, and uh, quick sort. And to understand the insertion sort and the quick sort, you need to understand the bubble sort for, uh, first. So actually, this is not uh, uh, an efficient uh, algorithm, but for educational needs, we will use it as a starting point to understand how the uh, algorithm work in computer. So let's start first of uh, doing this quickly. So if we have numbers like four, two, three, one, and I wanted to sort these uh, numbers. So Let's make this just to make it like this and now I start from here and I said is 4 greater than 2 yes so exchange so I will put 2 here I will put 4 here 3 here and the 1 here and this is the exchange now I reach this point and now I am asking this is the the point that I reach it now I am asking is 4 greater than 3 yes so exchange so I will write it again Okay, so I will keep this one, uh, two and one, and I exchange only the three and four. Okay, and this is what happened. Now I am reaching this point, which is the four. Okay, so I am going to is four greater than one? Yes. So exchange. So I will exchange these two, but I will keep the two and the three the same, and I'll put the one and four because I reach. The last point in here so i know the four is sorted now as the maximum number so i will put this into this square so i know that this is sorted so i don't need to check it again okay so now i have what we call the the first round let's say or first loop so I have now, I started with four members of the of the list. Now I have only three members, which is two and three and one. And I wanted to check it. So I'm going to check the second one. Okay. And I will use the, um, this is the one. So I will start with the two and compare it with the three. So let's say I have only three, three, uh, three member of the, so two greater than three, no. So keep it as it is. So now I am reaching this point. Now three, this one, three greater than one, yes. So exchange it. So I will keep the two, no, no, I'm not touching the two. I'm just exchanging the three and one, okay? So because I am reaching this point, so I know that this, this three is the next maximum number. So I will keep it like this. So actually the four, it's not change here because I did not need to check it again. So this is the four, four, four. It's coming from the first one. And now I have the three. Okay, so I made the second round. Now I have to start again from the beginning, but now I have only two items, which is the two and one. And I will start from here and I will say, is this two greater than one? Yes. So exchange. So I will put one here and two here because I reached the two as the last point. So I am going to, to know that this two is the maximum number. And because I have one is only number in here. So one is sorted as well. So actually I'm not touching the other numbers. It's the same here. So this is the four and this is the three. So now I have this one is sorted like one, one, two, three, four. Sorry for that. One, two, three, four and all of them is sorted now now this is the manual thing and this is the bubble sort 
which is an efficient sort but we'll do it in programming as well so how we are going to do it in programming if we said in programming that the g is equal the list of g is equal four two three one that's mean the position of four is zero the position of two is one the position of three is two the position of one is three this is the this is the starting point in here okay now if i am going to check these things if i wanted to print g so i will print like four two three one which is this one now if i am going to print um only i wanted to print let's say four so in this case i will say print print g this is print all the, the things but if i wanted to print only four so i will say print g and then open square bracket and then say zero why because this one here it's exactly this one so actually this is represent four okay so this is just to let you know how we are going to treat this one so actually in this case this is represent g zero this is represent g one this is represent g two and this is represent g three so as you see here we need this information to know about it so i will put it in a very small one in here so i will cut it like this just to keep it in mind that this is the one that i wanted uh, i don't know how how i make it try for that yeah so i will keep it here for a while and then i will uh, remove it okay now i'm going to write the uh, program and please see here how i am writing the uh, a program because this is very important to understand how we are doing this and i'm going to write the program in here okay so i will start with saying g sorry for that uh, in here okay so here i'm going to uh write this one i can go with this uh yeah so let's try it in here and i'm going to do this so i will say g is equal and i'll put this uh four which is four, two, three, one. Now when I make enter and I said print G, oh, sorry, print G, and I make run in here, I'm getting these, these ones in here. See these ones in here. Okay, now, if I want to check this one, I like the print g of zero. So what I expect, I expect that it will print only four. So let's try it. And yes, it's printing only four, which is right. If I said here three, so this is zero, this is one, this is two, this is three. So it should, be, should print here one in here. So let's see. And yes, it is one because this is the third item. So I don't need this now. Okay. And I will say here if G of, of uh, if four, four mean G of zero greater than the two, which is G of one. And make enter. And here, as you see, this is a, a space which is the indentation you have to be very careful about this so here what to do is to swap if this is greater than this so then swap so what this swap is is g 
zero comma g one is equal g one comma g zero now why this has happened i will explain it very well in here because this is very important to understand how it's going when i said when i said um x when i said x equal 5 y is equal 6 okay and i said x y is equal y x actually here i am doing this swap why because the value of y will go to the x and the value of x will go to the y so in this case after this point the y the x will will take the value of six and the y will take the value of five okay that's why we are using this so this is the idea of how we can exchange things in in numbers and uh and these things so just to let you know how this is working so actually here the value of one will go to the to the value of zero and the value of zero will go to the value of one which is mean exchange and to know that this is the right one i will make here the print g to be sure that this is the right one so let's see oh this is nice you see i start with the four two i said is four greater than two yes so exchange so it's exchanges so it will make like two four and then three one okay so yes it's working very well now i will copy this exactly like copy this but i will make the numbers now with the next one so i will say this is one and this is two okay and this is one this is two this is two and this is one here and see the, the next one so i am comparing the four and the three now is four greater than three yes so exchange so it will be like three in here and four in here and let's check it and run it and yes it's working you see here the four three now three four so it's working very well now i am going to because we reached the number four so i need to check the four with one which is the last one so i will copy this as well and keep in mind when i said copy I mean this is like pattern same pattern but this is now i reach the two so this is i will compare two with the three okay and i will compare the two with the three in here and this is three with two and see the result wow this is as you see here two three four this is the four one in here the last thing and i compare it with this one so actually i am reaching this line here here so as you see here i finished the first one so i have to come back from the beginning to come back from the beginning what i need I need for three items so I need the zero one I need and one and two why because here the, these are the items I will explain it here now I have the three I have the two this one here I have the two and the three and one if you compare the G this is the position of zero this is the position of one this is the position of two so this is the G of zero this is the g of one and this is the g of two so these are these are things this is what i need actually to uh so i need the zero one and one two so i don't need the three f statement like before i need only uh two uh, uh two f statement of that which is the zero this is the zero to one and one to two so i will copy this again 
and I will start again from here so as you see here I am going to make this sorry for that so you can see here that I am going to do this sorry for that and let's see if this is let let's take this one first okay and see this one and then print I have to get I have to get this this one in here so two three is not changing that much so yes it's not changing you see we are getting the same because two is two greater than three no so do nothing mean no swap so this if statement is not performed because this one is not greater than this one now when I will put this one here now I'm checking one with two so I am checking the three with one I have to exchange it because three is greater than one so when I said run so you can see that three greater than one yes so exchange and you can see the exchange in here I did not touch the four because I don't need it the four it's already the maximum number so I don't need to go to that one so when I reach that point in here okay what I need I need to make only one one check and again when I make the one check I have the uh, two and one is the last point in here right two and one and this is the g of zero and this is the g of one okay so keep in mind that i need only one f statement in this case because i have only two numbers to check so i will go here and check this one so i will take the one that i check the zero and one please just make copy and make this one and now i will go with the last point and i'll make it like this and you can see that I compare the two with one and one and it's compared and it's coming with this result so you can see that these values is exactly like these values and I reach with the sorted method okay now this is if you if you show this to any programmer and said what's this stupid uh, sorry for that what's this stupid uh, code why are you using these things so remember that um, here this is repetition thing like zero one two and then zero and one and then zero and here always when you start with the zero this is zero plus one when you start with with one this is one plus one when you start with the two this is two plus one so actually I can make something make it like why should I make it like this why not make it like um, I and uh, j and make always j greater than uh greater than uh i mean the j is, is i plus one so i found that i is taking the value zero one two and then taking the value uh zero one and then taking the value zero while j which is equal i plus one is taking the value of one two three and then taking the one two only and then taking the one okay so as you see here we are going to do these things and oh j is zero one two and in this case when i said j is zero one two for the first one so let's let's just make it very easy to understand so i will spread this so you can understand this is for the first line okay and this is for the second line and this is for the last line so if i can say here this is the first line first loop let's say or first this is the first loop where this is this is the first loop and this is the second one in here so i will take this and i say this is the second one second loop and this is the third loop which is the last one so you can see here from here I can't put this so why not I put like uh, for I and doing this why because when I said I this one in here when I said I is equal these values zero and one and two mean i can make the for next so let's say if i said four oh i have to make it um, okay 
if I said for i in range in range um, here three so this is will give me and I said print i let's try it and and see what's the result so I'll make it here in the beginning so if I said um just to try it in here if I said for i in range in range three and I said print i print i this is will print see here oh sorry what's this for i in range three yeah I forget this and this is, should be like this yeah sorry I can't do that so actually the here I got it this is the zero one two which is the values that I I wanted in here which is the values I wanted in here okay but remember that three three represent the number of list number of members or number of items of the list minus one so if i said mm, if i send if i if i put it like this and if i said let's make this here take it here and let me put it here first here and if i said that the length I wanted to print the length of of print the length of oh print the length of g this is should give me four this one should give me four so let's see is it yes so it's give me the four this one print g this is the g and this is the four and then the eyes hmm so I can say the three actually is to represent four minus one. Four minus one is represent three. So I can put it here and I said, hmm, I can take this, okay, and put it in here. And I said, this is actually, it's len of G minus one. And I will remove this and let's see. I have to get like zero one two okay so yes I got the zero one two depending on the values of this so I can use this to uh, sort the things so if this is the case so I will change this and I will make here not print I because I want to remove this I am sure that this is the one but I will make here something and I said J is equal I plus one and I make run it's the same but if I said print I J in here so just to be sure that this is will give me the I J yes this is the I this is J I J I J so this is the zero one here the zero one one two this is the one two sorry this is the one two uh, two three this is the two three so yes I can use it instead of these numbers so I will change this to these numbers but remember I have to put it under this loop so what I will do now I will remove this and then I will take this uh, first loop or the whole loops or this one the first loop in here and I make um, and press on tab so this is will be like indentation so it will be here under this one so I will take it like this okay sorry for that and now I will change this each one this is I this is I and this is I if I make it like this I and I and I and this is repeated so as you see here it's the same values you see here this is the this one is the same pattern as this one is the same pattern as this one so this is zero one and then one two and then two three so if I put it on this so I don't need so when I make this is I 
and this is J, this is I, and this is J, and this is J, and this is I. So when I have the first loop where I is 0 and 1, it will go with this, it will perform this one. When I and J 1 and 2, it will perform this one, so I don't need this one and I don't need this one that's it why because in this case my values of i and j it's going to repeat again and again to be sure that this is the right one and exactly like what we did before I will run it and you will see the same result as before so you see here this is here it's represent the first loop okay now how I can represent the second one actually here for I in range this so I will take the same this one here okay and I will make it for the second loop here so I will say from I to um, in the range of this is 0 and 1 mean this is to the 2 here so 4 minus 2 is 2 so this is will give me the result and here I have to make like this and again okay we'll make the same thing like here exactly okay and see the result so this is the uh, second loop Actually, this is, should be the third loop. I don't know why I said this is the third loop. Okay, so the second loop is this. So let's check it and we'll see it. Oh, this is great. We reached this is the first loop. This is the second loop. Okay, and the third loop, this is, should be three. Okay, so here I am going to make the third loop again. And here I will make it like this and this is should be minus 3 so this is for I in range 3 this is for I in range 2 this is for I in range uh, 1 which is only taking the 0 okay and this is will be the third loop okay and it should give me this one so yes it's give me this one as you see here now you have this number, the only change between this and this and this is these numbers. This is the 1, this is the 2, and this is the 3. Oh, now if you compare again and you can imagine the idea of if we introduce a variable called k, let's say, and the k I will start it with with len of j minus 1 and minus 2 and minus 3 mean k can take the values of 1 and 2 and 3 and this is actually this is exactly like when I am saying 4k in range 1 to 4 this is these values if I said print k, these values, this is the result of this one, which will give me 1 and 2 and 3. So, in this case, I don't need to repeat these ones. I need to make, to put k in here, and then put the, put k in here, and then just remove that one and make the k one time one the one the other time two and the other time is a three and that's it and here i will remove this and the k will represent the uh, loop so i can say here print print loop oh sorry print and i can say here loop Okay, 
and here I can say k. So loop one, loop two, loop loop three. Okay, and here I need to make like four k, and then take all of this inside the k. So I will take it to the right by tab, and here I can say four k in range in range one two four and make this and when i run it wow i got it as i expected so let's say here the k it's better to put the print not here let's take it from here and put it in here print k yeah so let's see this is the loop one okay and this is the loop two and this is the result of loop three which is right okay now if you if you check this number the four in here the four actually represent the length of this g so i can say why not why why put it like this let's put like len of g and this is represent four okay so when i run it i will get the same result so just remove this so we can make it so easy okay and let's make it like this and run it and you can see that it's amazing it's very small small algorithm that it has developed for the bubble sort this is how we can take the um, uh, take the bubble sort to uh, from scratch to create the Python code or you can say this is the pseudocode which is very similar to pseudocode as well now if you tried any numbers of numbers okay so let's say um, I wanna like 9 uh, 5 uh, 8 78 23 minus 2 um, uh, 70 uh, 6 uh, 1 2 3 um, whatever put any numbers that you like uh, 6 minus 4 uh, minus 1 uh, 0 um, you can put any number that you like this is the one um, let's make the um, 25 um, uh, 13, uh, 90, uh, 34, uh, 64, and uh, 27. Let's say we are doing this and I wanted to take the run and you can see that, wow, this is amazing. And at the end, you will get the result that minus four, minus two, minus one. So it's sorted already so let's take some some numbers from here so you can see it this is another number and that's it run it and you can see here how it's chain exchange it so this is amazing each step is going with the last one if you wanted to know the last uh, print only you don't need to to take that one so you can make this is this is just make the indentation here so it will only print in the beginning and in the at the end and you can see this is unsorted one and this is sorted one this is the bubble sort algorithm hope you understand this if you have any question please let me know because we started with this uh, from scratch from the manual to uh, um, a python code and then we did the pattern recognition and we change it to the loops and uh, inside the other loop until we reach that point and this is the algorithm of the bubble sort thank you very much